Do I need to announce we have a teleconference? We have a teleconference with Governing Board Member Mr. Smidian and uh, do I have to announce where he's living, where he's at? He's at uh, Santa Clara North County Courthouse. So on the agenda, call uh, roll call please. Board members Courtney, Velasco, Crabtree, Here. Herrera, Here. Wasserman, Tucker, Here. Constantine, Here. Kalnan, Here. Rogers. Okay, we have a quorum for our governing board meeting. At this point, we're at the report of the chairs. I um, wanted to thank you all for <laughs> re-electing me, I guess, as, as I was absent and very sick at the last meeting. I couldn't uh, attend, and uh, so somehow I got re-elected as <laughs> the chair of the governing board. But I actually have no other um, report other than saying thank you. And we will skip to, um, report on the Public Advisory Commission. I don't know if um, the chair of the Public Advisory Commission is not here. I don't see him, but I don't know if anyone else. Nope. Okay, we will have to skip that. Um, so, to governing board action, regular business item one, adoption of the ordinance revised fee. Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped public comments. This is the time of the agenda where we have public comment period for items not on the regular agenda. Is there anybody who would like to come forward? Nope. Okay. Thank you. Okay, item one, adoption of the ordinance revised a fee imposition date. And there's a recommended action from staff. Do you want to? Yes. Go ahead. Thank you, Chairperson Tucker. Um, so the the recommended the recommended action is the governing board adopt ordinance number 2015-01, amending ordinance number 2013-01 to revise the annual effective date for the imposition of updated mitigation fees on development within the geographical boundaries. Santa Clara Valley habitat plan area from June 1st of each year to July 1st of each year to, to be more in line with all the uh, fiscal uh, year cycles with all the agencies. Motion to approve. It's, it's pretty straightforward. I don't it, think is. it is. It is. It is. On this, it's so. pretty straightforward. Okay. Welcome, Mr. Wasserman. Thank you, Madam Ready Chair. To vote on item. One, item know. one on the agenda, we have a motion and a second to approve the recommended action. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? No. Midian votes aye. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, there's some um, Shall we do a roll call for this? Let's do a roll call, okay. Does it say? Governing board. Hmm. Okay. Board members Tucker? Yes. Constantine? Aye. Herrera? Aye. Thomas? Wasserman? Aye. Simidian? Aye. Okay, motion passes. Thank you. Now we are on to, uh, first of all, we could go back to uh, implementation board report from Mr. Wasserman. Do you have a report? No, ma'am. Okay. All is well. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the 49ers. <laughs> <laughs> Are they late today? Thanks, <laughs> Winnie. <laughs> okay. Back to now we are on part of the agenda uh, joint governing and implementation board action item two. Approve the minutes of the September 18th regular joint meeting of the governing board. Motion to approve. Second. Excuse me, actually, that was corrected to the January 15th, 2015 meeting minutes the, it's the, the, the January it's meeting <laughs> nope. the January meeting minutes were attached and included in your packet the agenda was erroneous right. and Let's it's been corrected okay we have a motion and a second by Mr. Wasserman all in favor aye 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 aye, aye. so should I abstain since I wasn't here no you, were not. you, don't you can have still okay. vote okay do we still need to do a roll call because Mr. Smidian's on the phone we actually don't have a quorum for implementation yet, so. So we're vote didn't count. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do it again. So governing counted implementation Number didn't. Five. We have joint governing implementation. We don't have those. Those two are our implementations. Mr. I'm both. Smidian. I'm both. Supervisor so, Smidian, you're governing board? I am governing board, but not implementation board, and I believe having voted on the fee and position date and the minutes that that concludes my participation in the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> he is correct. Yes, it does. 
uh, except there is one issue, uh, future governing board initiated agenda items, if you had anything to add for the future. Yeah, if you can hold for 45 Chair, minutes, we'll get to that. Okay, thank you. Any thank other, you. any other See members you. on the governing board would like a future agenda item? So then shall I go ahead and adjourn the governing board? Yes. At this yeah, time, we are, we'll be adjourning the governing board. And now back to the implementation board. Do we have a quorum? Thank yeah. you, Madam Chair and members. Have a good day. You, you too. Have Jill. a good day. Thank you, Jill. You're off the hook now. We're one shy. Angie, of um yeah. implementation board? One, two, three, four, five, six, Roland is here, so now we'll have a quorum. Good. Okay. <laughs> Or City of Gilroy. The quorum was we one have burned. two seats for the City of Gilroy. So Roland's here as the alternate for Peter. Oh, okay. Since we now have a quorum, <laughs> we will go to item number three on the agenda. <laughs> the uh, participation special entity agreement with PG&E for the gas transmission line. And I'm going to guess it's Mr. Sullivan. Yes. Yes, correct. Thank you, Chairperson Wasserman. Um, so the recommended action is to adopt a resolution making positive findings and approving a participating special entity agreement with Pacific Gas and Electric for gra a gas transmission line 300A. I won't read the rest. Uh, so, so it's basically a repair project. Right. And, and the approval would be for both the, the PSE agreement and the documentation of a CEQA notice of exemption, because the agency is the, the Habitat Agency is the lead agency in this case. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Do we have a second? second. We have a second. We get money. It's a small, it's a. It's yes. Uh, done all that, so. Yeah, real small. It's 130. 136.22. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And our costs are minimal as well. So it's $5,000. Both. Yeah. We still want to put that. We still want to save that on the public record. I'm, I'm glad I don't have that kind of uh, billing. Exactly. $132 charge. Oh, it's five thousand for the minimum. Starting the motion. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, we are in. Uh, yes, we are. Discussion. Discussion. Sorry. We are. <laughs> administrative charge five thousand. The other piece. I have, so. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Any other comments? Seeing none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? None. That passes unanimously. Thank you. We're we'll now go to the closed session, Councillor. Um, do oh, we, we have the EO uh, executive officer report just wanted to update you guys on a few things it was uh, absent from the oh, so it, yeah it's on the corrected, it's on agenda. The corrected agenda I don't know. I, yeah thank you there it is in red we're now on to item number four which is report from the so I just wanted to update you on what I've been doing since we last met. Um, and a couple, couple things more focused on lobbying, both here in Sacramento and Washington. So two weeks ago, I was in Sacramento with um, the California Habitat Car uh, Conservation Planning Coalition. Was met with um, Department of Fish and Wildlife Director Chuck Bonham and also met with um, state assembly and state senate representatives, including Assemblyman Richard Gordon, and um, met primarily with their, their, um, their staff. Met briefly with uh, assembly person Gordon, just introduced myself and said hello. But basically the push was to step up sort of uh, funding for NCCPs and to uh, get the Department of Fish and Wildlife refocused on that. It was the trendy thing back in the early 2000s, sort of lost some of its glamour and glow as time has gone on. So sort of refocusing at least Department of Fish and Wildlife's focus on that program and also talking about getting uh, Bond Act funding specifically earmarked for um, NCCPs as well as cap and trade dollars. Uh, that that could go towards managing, helping with managing our lands as well as helping with acquisitions. Because as we all know, um, the plan is supposed to 
get both non-mitigation funds and mitigation funds to put the reserve system together. And, and all of us reminded the state uh, reps and the uh, agency staff of the importance of their commitment to making sure these are successful implementations and that there's a partnership here between local government and the state government to implement um, our plan and, and all these plans. And then um, there's a going on, uh, Ken went on this trip last year that was also organized by uh, the California Habitat Conservation Planning Coalition. And it'll be in um, Washington on March 24th and 25th, meeting with uh, the staff of Senators Feinstein and Boxer and the region's congressional delegation, as well as se senior agency staff. And it'll be some of the same people that met with the state reps. Um, and wanted to just give you an update on the RGP. That's the regional general permit, the 404. We're trying to integrate with the plan. Met with uh, Colonel uh, Morrow of the San Francisco District Office. Um, expressed uh, our displeasure of the delays that, that we've endured, unwarranted delays that we've endured. Uh, the original application was submitted in October 2012. Uh, it took a year and a half to get a public notice draft out, which is unprecedented in delay. Um, and then it sat, it's, it's, you know, it's eight months since the public review draft. There was no comments on the public review draft. I expressed all that to the colonel. He was very sympathetic. He instructed their staff to um, be more engaged in our uh, process and that they would uh, provide us with a schedule for completion. They have failed to do that. I let Colonel Marl know on Monday that they had failed to do that. And he was on leave in Kansas City with his family. And he, <coughs> he contacted Jane Hicks and her staff and said, deal with this. As of today, they haven't. So I've arranged to meet with uh, senior um, uh, core staff in Washington on the 25th of March. And I'm going to express, and I'm going to bring this up to all the congressional delegation and the senators that we need their help to make this happen. And I will keep you posted on this. I think we'll be writing a letter with the signatures of the, the chairs of the two boards, maybe some of the uh, signatures of some of the elected leaders of the cities too in the county, and just express that we're um, not happy what's going on. There's no reason for this delay. Um, this is pretty much a slam dunk. We're following nationwide uh, permitting process. And um, so I'm doing a full court press right now. And I'll, I'll, next time we meet, I'll update you on the Washington trip and how everything went. And hopefully I'll have some better news about the RGP. We're also going to start engaging the regional boards on integrating the 401 process something sort of along the lines of the RGP, just smaller impacts, and over time we'll try to get larger impacts in integrated with our process. So that's the update on that. Uh, PSEs um, with Caltrans, we, uh, these are mitigation only, so they've already had their biological opinions, they've already sort of constructed these projects, but they're using our plan to mitigate their impacts. Ferguson Road, we've completed an agreement with Caltrans, and we will be completing one next year, next fiscal year for the Hecker Pass. Gavilan College will be coming back, both for the Coyote um, uh, Valley campus, as well as some small, uh, uh, a small project on their Gilroy campus. It's a, they're tearing down some buildings, and it's and they need some coverage from the plan. Um, there's going to be more PG&E pipeline projects coming through, and there's a Los Gatos Creek uh, bridge project, which uh, through the Federal uh, Transportation Agency that will be coming through. And land enrollment is continuing. So um, the UTC Coyote Ridge property is now our top priority for enrollment. Uh, both the Wildlife Conservation Board and, and the Department of Fish and Wildlife would like a conservation easement placed on that property and enrolled in our habitat plan before they will release their their funding to complete that acquisition. That's not a bad thing, but OSA and the agency are going to work uh, 
uh, uh, uh, we're meeting with WCB tomorrow to see exactly what 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 that entails but our goal is to get that enrolled by the end of the year and we're moving forward on Calero and OSA's um, Coyote Valley uh, property and since there's some county folks here I forgot to mention Chris Mitchell's been very helpful in uh, organizing um, uh, meetings with uh, congressional staff in Washington yeah he, uh, he's, he's been he's been great yeah um, let's say we're uh, hopefully we'll be collaborating with uh, PG&E and acquiring a property in the kind of the borderlands between the county and the city of San Jose I'll keep you abreast as, as that moves forward um, we also had a meeting on March 6th with our conservation partners post OSA TNC mid pen PG&E County Parks um, to talk about how how we can collaborate on large acquisitions you know work work together bring bring uh, kind of the synergies of all our groups and that's an org uh, and that's a meeting we organize and we're going to try to have those quarterly to get everybody working together um, and discussions with private landowners continue it's more kicking the tires right now except for this that one property that I that I alluded to hopefully uh, it'll be more than tire kicking I think the crazy real estate market here is definitely influencing at least in the Morgan Hill San Jose area our uh, our ability to acquire property um, but hopefully <laughs> hopefully that'll change and that's and that and by our ability you mean our our inability yes exactly <laughs> exactly yeah so sometimes the landowners have unrealistic expectations of what their land is worth that's part of the problem because if you look and, and most of these properties are within this, the county so county zoning says you can do this and it's pretty pretty clear on what they can and can't do but sometimes they think they can do more than that and that's and that's sort of the struggle um, whether it's county parks OSA or us trying to um, stick with the appraised value of the property and and not the inflated it's not Campbell it's not Los Gatos it's it's a rural county and and trying to get them to understand that is I I think is where we're at and with the farming and ranching community it's more of them getting comfortable with me getting comfortable with the agency is is a potential partner um, with a conservation easement and I've met some farmers and uh, and hopefully over time and ranchers that'll that those relationships will get stronger it takes a lot of time to build up uh, trust with the ranching and farming community so I'm I'm as I build upon that trust I think we'll it, it off some more better more positive news about maybe acquiring some of those lands yeah but th thank you for realizing it does take time to to earn trust exactly yep. any questions of our executive director or others we'll move back to number two to approve that the minutes for the implementation board member Herrera <laughs> um, I realize that it's, this is mainly a verbal report, but you cover a lot of territory. Is there any way we can get some of this in writing? Yes. Because I'd like to follow along while you're talking and you're yes, going from. Yes, I can send meeting. you my notes because I prepare notes before every meeting. Or, or, or if you want something a little more formal, I can do. Just want to be able to track as you're talking. So yes. I, and I, I want to be able to remember some of it. Cause yeah, I will around. send. I'll make sure. Um, I'll send my notes to Angie, and, and she I can don't, forward all. I don't all. know every yeah. abbreviation. I don't know every yeah. organization that you're mentioning. <laughs> yeah. I mean, every, everybody else probably does, but I don't. So. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah. If you could, you could you could use it in your verbal, but then in the writing you could have some of it spelled out. I'll do me. that. You could still go quickly, but you know. Yeah. We all have so many acronyms in our lives. Yes, sir, Member Constantine. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, regarding the the colonel, um, I would ask the chair to uh, give you permission to uh, take the gloves off because obviously after having been in contact with him a couple of times and then having him say oh I can sympathize with you yeah. the empathy isn't there and obviously it's it's not getting it through or they don't care so I would say go as high and as hard as you need to go okay agreed I agree thank you I yep. will do that <laughs> if he goes too far we don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> no ser seriously it's yes. we we have those issues at that level our River Valley water flood with with this it's just if the feds want to be involved they need to, to, to work together yes and and uh, as I mentioned in past meetings Kay Goody has yes reached out to them it's um, 
it's frustrating and um, puzzling. Yeah, and like you said, it's a slam dunk. I, it really you is. You know, if you're asking for a variance, then there's more consideration, but no, I, I appreciate that. Any other questions? Before we then take a um, report out from our chair of the Public Advisory Committee, um, I would like to go back to number two, and this is for implementation board members only. And uh, I'll put forth a motion to approve the Second. minutes of January 15th. Second. Thank you. Motion made and second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, implementation board members, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? None. Passed unanimously. Thank you. Mr. Glines. Thank you for being here. Thank for thank you for letting me uh, uh, speak a little bit. Absolutely. The uh, the agency is uh, coordinating or helping to coordinate some Coyote Ridge tours. Um, there's going to be two more coming up. One is April third, and the other one is uh, in March. And I'm not exactly sure of the date, but I went on one last year, and that was just it was um, not mind-boggling, but almost so, that, that if you haven't had a chance to go up there, uh, it, it, you see stuff that you've never seen before, and it's right in our backyard. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it really brings home what the agency is about. Um, and the other thing is, uh, at our last meeting, and I was uh, elected for a second term, uh, no one else. Uh, uh, very few other members live down here, so it's not onerous to drive from Gilroy to Morgan Hill, but the, the traffic will kill you sometimes, even on a Thursday. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that report. That concludes our board action. Um, Councilor Armento, as far as closed session goes, I know we ask for any um, uh, opportunity for public comment. We'll do that now before we adjourn. Is the plan to meet here? Or are we adjourning to some small room? Conference uh, room next door. Conference room yeah, next door. Room. Thank you. So I will ask now if any member from the public wishes to speak. Seeing none, we will now adjourn to the conference room next door for closed session. I'll take my <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Gilroy. I would be afraid if I was. <laughs>